This video is sponsored by Sweetwater. Today in Wrist Beards and Gear, let's talk about changing up your monitoring situation. So in the past couple of months, I have been trying really hard to kind of up my audio game, my mixing game. And I also tried to not be too complacent with any given setup that I have at any given time. I like to switch things up to try new things, both gear wise, mix technique wise, whether that be plugins or the way I record guitars, etc., etc. I'm always trying to evolve for, you know, just because I always want to better myself in anything that I'm doing. Well, recently I started to scrutinize my monitoring situation and I made a few changes. Now this video is sponsored by the fine folks over at Sweetwater. I will be linking down below in the description about all of the things I am talking about in this video. So shout out to them for sponsoring this video. So for the last several years, my main monitoring setup has been a single pair of Neumann KH310 monitors. These are fabulous monitors. And I also have the accompanying KH750 Neumann sub to go along with them. Now, this is a very robust monitoring setup. However, after visiting a couple of friends and just kind of talking with a bunch of my audio nerd buddies, I kind of came to the realization that A, those monitors are a little large and they're a little much for this small room. I'm actually in a pretty tiny room, A, but B, the things I was using to kind of check my mixes didn't really work with my workflow and it was kind of apparent that I needed a multiple monitoring setup. Now, if you were to look at basically any given recording studio or any studio setup ever, if you were to Google any given studio, you would see multiple pairs of monitors present. Now, why is this? Well, if you have different speaker setups, they are going to be tuned and basically used for different listening situations. You're gonna have the big wall mounted uh, mains for ultra fidelity. You're going to have a little pair of NS 10s just for getting things tracked to make sure you uh, got everything, not necessarily for mixing, etc., etc. Well, this is kind of what we do here at home when we're going to go listen to a mix in the car. We're really just kind of trying to weed out the bad things on our mix to make sure everything translates. Now in the past year or so, I have been checking my mix with a set of Apple uh, AirPods Max, for example, as well as various different kinds of in-ear monitors and regular headphones ranging in price from $99 all the way up to $1,600, etc., etc. That was because I only had a single pair of monitors and I really didn't have any other listening situation to go by. Well, I've changed that and I've had really good results. So first I started by taking down the Neumann KH310 monitors, which are about $2,300 a piece, very expensive. And I have replaced them with my tried and true Neumann KH120 monitors, along with a set of Neumann KH80. Now, why did I do this? Well, there's several different reasons, chief among them being, I'm just familiar with the KH120s. I have mixed on them for years and years and years at my old house, and I am just, I don't know, I am in tuned to how the 120 sound. Now I chose their little brother, the KH 80s, because they sound totally different from the KH 120s because well, first they are physically smaller. However, I have the 120s running through my KH 50 sub and I don't have the KH 80s running through the sub. So it's a little bit of a different, actually it's a lot bit of a different monitoring situation. If I'm going to hear the smaller sounding KH 80s. Now, the second reason I stayed with Neumann is because the Neumanns offer hardware room correction so I could run the MA1 microphone and have all of my uh, monitors room corrected for my room. So I know they're at least accurate, but they are different sounding enough so I can kind of bounce between them to listen to various things. For example, the KH80s sound fantastic when dialing in a guitar tone. 
So having gone to this setup has really helped me kind of streamline my process, hear everything as accurately as possible, but also having just another set of monitors for daily listening. I don't need the sub going at eight o'clock in the morning when I'm sipping my coffee and I have no way to turn off just the sub. So I will switch over to my smaller and more dainty KH 80s, which are great for just watching YouTube videos and you know doing day to day stuff, non-critical listening tasks. I'm typically on the KH 80s. So let's bring this all around. What is the point of this video? Well, my point is you should always be thinking about how you can better yourself. And sometimes that means getting a second set of headphones or a second set of monitors. I'm not saying you need to go and spend a thousand dollars on monitors. What I'm saying is getting a $99 boom box to check your mixes on is totally acceptable and worthwhile as opposed to bouncing something on your phone, going all the way down to your car listening on your car and coming back up and trying to take mental notes of what changes you need to make to your mix. Stay at your chair, stay at the desk and just uh, get different, uh, different things to listen to on your desk. It's much easier. It's worked for me and I hope it works for you. All the pickable links down below in the description. You have been wonderful. I have been fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing. And if you wanna further support me and what I do, consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video. Go on over to Sweetwater, buy yourself something and help me out at the same time. It's a win-win for both of us.